The Reds and the Blues. Uh, as we've said, is the Red season back on track? It's a time for them to knock off another big name. Uh, now they're back home in Suncorp. They've taken all the positivity in the world. We'll see. Um, injuries to report. Lawson Crichton for the Reds. Uh, he went up with a concussion. So with the return to play protocols, probably we'll see him sit out this week. For the Blues. We also saw Jock um, O'Connor come off late. Uh, I think I don't know if he was cleared or not, but that sounded like that was for an HIA. Um, he didn't seem very happy about coming off either at that point. Oh, James O'Connor, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That was at the very end. He was... Uh, that's true. Um, yeah, we, so we might have to keep an eye on James O'Connor. Um, and then for the Blues, Don Papali'i with his red card, you know, I, I guess we'll, we probably expect to see him sanctioned and probably banned for three weeks. 100%. It's got to be three weeks, doesn't it? That's, that's what every one of these is. He'll play mm-hmm. guilty three weeks. See Tackle him. technique. Is that is that yeah that's right and go do his tackle technique so what's that he messes around 12 13 tackle technique gets him back for quarterfinals if he doesn't do that he's back for semis i don't know if he's got that option or not yeah oh no there's three weeks left there's three weeks left there's three, three rounds left. yeah sorry there you go so back for quarters he'll cop that straight away perfect and uh sam darry went off with a broken arm so his season is done um and shame um, yeah that we'll pressure get- yeah, he was having a good season. So I guess we'll get to who will be replacing him in the row in a bit. Um, returning for the Reds, uh, Josh Fluke, come back from a quad cork a couple of weeks ago. Um, and also Taj Annan um, from a concussion. But um, obviously Taj probably won't, his services probably won't be required if Josh Fluke is back. Um, and no one really returning for the Blues. So yeah, in Suncorp, Reds on a high from last week. Uh, can they continue that momentum? Um or uh, the Blues is simply going to be too much? For, for me, I, I I noticed Tom Liner. When he comes on, I think he actually uh, steers the ship around a fair bit better for the Reds. And, and with James O'Connor at 12, they're, they're three from four. Um, I, I'm pretty sure their last four matches he's been there and they've won three. Um, so between the two of them, they're, they're going to help lead that team around a little bit better than we saw early on in the season. But, I mean, to... to Back up last week and get a, a win against the Blues would still be something very, very special. Um, but I, I like the look of, you know, Liner and Jock 10 12. That's just calming influence there for for Liner, who who's been very solid when he's had his shot. Um, and we touched on a few of the the Reds players really, really staking claims at Wallaby's jerseys over the incumbents. Um, so I mean the the Reds are gonna be here ready to fire. Yeah, I think I think the big thing is there's just that selection headache now of we just picked the most random back line we could find and they've defended their hearts out, you know, not to take anything away from the forward who were just as impressive, but when the back line was just completely out of position and exceptional at doing it. Like, does Filippo Dungunu get another crack at outside centre now if Luke's not quite right? Because he did a bloody good job. Like, I thought he looked dangerous in attack. He was solid in D. He looked hungry as anything to take the opportunity. What? what? Uh, I mean, the an- I think the answer is no. You're not going to stick with Mac Greeley, do you reckon, that, on the wing? I think I agree with you. I think it's hard. When you've got when you've got Dow Guna goes back to that left wing, Just he's just an absolute electric winger. And, and Fluke has been fantastic. So I think he'll be a pretty quick slot straight back. My worry is if James O'Connor's not fit though, then where do they go? You know, do they just put Fluke to inside mm. or, you know, what's their next next backup plan? Otherwise Tarjan and all of a sudden straight back into the inside centre role as Henry, well. Is Isaac Henry fit? Because, I mean, here's your answer. We've I'm, been hanging around for him. Like I, I, I thought he was going to be fit a few, uh, maybe in the last couple of weeks and we haven't really heard much about him. So definitely a possibility, but no confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I what if and I was going to say, what do we think of? Uh, I think we can expect to see Harry Wilson back in to start at eight. But Sarah Wu had a great game. Um, you know, do we do we think we'll see him feature somewhere in the row maybe again? They've been kind of using him in the row throughout. I just, I just think that maybe they've re- remembered how good he can be, and maybe he gets twenty or thirty minutes at the end of the game to actually have a crack in the back row, rather mm-hmm. than being wasted playing eighty in the locks where he just has to play tight. I think that's the lesson. I don't really care whether they play him for the first fifty. Yeah, they uh, definitely. I think he, his work in tight and, and his scrum work and things like that means he doesn't have the energy it looks like, or you know, the license to to get around the paddock, which has been disappointing. We've been waiting each week. Uh, he was in my fantasy team for for some some time because we just know how good he can be. 
Um, if we jump across into the Blues, there's a couple of question marks um, on who to pick. Harry, we've got Haka Suofoa, who have both, you know, maybe Suofoa is looking the the guy who's probably been performing better. Who would you pick between these two and why? Yeah, to, obviously to fill in for Sam Darry. Darry. Um, I, I would, look, as a lock, I would probably pick Tucker personally, whereas I think Suofoa really impressed me the most when he played in the back row, which is where he plays most of his domestic uh, footy for New Zealand as well. So that's what yeah. I would do. And then you've got Suofoa on the bench who can cover so many positions as well. Um, but I, I think the Blues will go with Suofoa in the row. That's what I think will happen. You can get in the row. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll see Suofoa starting in the row. Um, and with, with Tucker covering on the bench, uh, maybe even uh, particularly now that Dalton's gone, you know, that might um, see Choate start at seven, Akira starting at six, and that might see the big red dog, Tom Robertson, move to the bench because he can kind of provide cover for everything there, you know, six and at lock. So wouldn't be surprised if we see Tucker and Robinson on the bench. Yeah, yep. love it. Um, the um, big one, uh, the battle for 12, uh, Harry Plummer, who um, has been playing very, very well at 12 and seemingly have been holding out Roger Tuavasa Shek. Um, I don't know. Do we see how do we see that evolving? I just okay. think that I, I my my big question is how much are they taking away from this loss against the Crusaders, where they were unable to get ball number one? So I guess you can't blame any twelve for that. First half they didn't touch it, and mm. number two they weren't able to get any kind of momentum to move forward. Having both Bowden and Plummer at ten and twelve didn't manage to get them in the right part of the field. To actually get possession back. So what's the what's the big benefit in the big games if that's not going to be effective for them? You may as well have someone that can bust the line and offload and actually create a scoring opportunity from anywhere on the field. I agree with that, to be honest. I mean, Roger Tovasashek, when he returned, it was against Moana. Um, and I think they just they snuck that one by one point. Um, so it's probably not the 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 big thing, you know, looking at the the result in those matches, but he gives them a lot of go forward, and and I think you've summed it up nicely. If Plummer's not the one who's getting you around the paddock, um, what what are we watching him for instead of watching two of us a check who can break a game open? Yeah, you you feel like RTS is your one hundred percent. You're getting game line every time, and Harry Plummer's just that second playmaker, and you know fielding some of those cross field kicks and things like that. So, I guess it just depends on how you want to play. But um, yeah, I surely. Yeah, I mean, I like I like Plummer because it gets more ball to Rico Ioani. Big fan of that. But um, no, it would be yeah. I, I think you know there's a little bit lost with RTS just because they're a bit sour that he's leaving back to to rugby league and whatever. It's hard to. I think so. you know, Buggy, I mate, this is on you this time, so no outliers. Who wins this one and by how much? Look, sadly, I don't think that uh, there'll be any Reds mana from last week. I think the Blues are going to take this game. I think they're going to be angry after their loss last week. Uh, I think the Blues will win this by, I'm not going to go as big as, I'm going to give the Reds some credit. I'm going to say Blues to win it by 14. Still over the line. Um, Harry? I'm going Blues by 12. Is, it, is that the exact line? Is that what? The... <laughs> no. Right. Look, I, I actually like the sound of this because we're, we're giving we're giving the Reds a bit of a crack here. Mm, the... Yeah. Which is good. The Blues haven't been uh, tearing the world apart in the last couple of weeks, which is also a positive. So the Blues are going to get it won and get it done, and they're going to win by 13. I'm going to do the opposite of <laughs> target technique, go straight down the middle. He backs himself. He's <laughs> level of uh, precision. I love it. Yeah. 